Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode six of Fallout the series. We're going to go ahead and hop into this. So if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for coming to the channel and get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies we react to each month. We got month Q&As, behind scenes footage, and trying to make it worth your while. So you're going to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate them enjoying this reaction. To least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And with that all said out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode six. The trap. Here we go. Galaxy News. Vault Tech presents. Oh. Oh. Hello what there. the? Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard. But I'm not here today to talk to you about my latest picture. No, today I'm here to show you a vast and wonderful place. Oh my goodness. Vault yeah, that's four. <laughs> deep inside the fully livable model 96 JQ 1164. And what a beaut she is. Now that right there is Vault 4's three foot thick lead casing. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. Now this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors. Meet the Hawthorns. Now this isn't just your average all-American family. No, Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4, leading a community governed entirely by scientists. Wait a second, did you say living down here? Well, there hasn't been a nuclear incident, has there? Uh, no, not yet, <laughs> but uh, our family and a group of 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but you all are heroes in real life. And now you can be a hero. Oh, too. wow. Residence and a vault tech vault. Oh, I wonder what happens if you call that. Cut. That was a great take. You happy? Fellas, are you happy? I'm doing the thing. Bud Askins, I overseer of Southern California operations, came over to Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint in West Tech. I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T45 power armor. You know, I, I oversaw the, the rollout. You know, the design flaws were ridiculous, mm. but they sure looked great. I wore the T45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Those design flaws here has cost a lot of good men and women their lives. Oof. <laughs> The future of all humanity comes down to one word. You know what's that? Management. <laughs> Network. Well, how about we clock out? But what do you say, you and me? Knock back a couple of pina coladas by the pool, listen to the hi-fi. Mm, there is a rap party. For this. Yes. All right. We go for a couple of hours. We shake a few hands. It's at our house. <laughs> Can't get out of that, man. Oh, damn. Woof. Look at that place. More troops deployed to Far East. Negotiations in Anchorage are having a serious impact on tree service. We'll have to circle up with DC about that. Ideally before our quarterly projection release. <laughs> Mr. Howard. Mr. Howard. All these little conversations, man. Doing the Butler boys. I only do it for close friends and beautiful women, but you two are already halfway there. <laughs> I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am... Um <laughs> you might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. Not our usual scene, I'll give you that. No, it is not. I think uh, Hollywood actor friends, I want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Here, I lost a movie over these ads. Yeah, oh, so wow. The actors wouldn't come out of their trailers. Bonnie Lewis said it was on moral grounds. Bonnie Lewis? She's on more ads than a fucking billboard. <laughs> Dip my bits in the same gravy train. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. Guess how much they paid me for that? Wait, what? <laughs> no, I got 186 pre-tax. Maybe you could ask for more. Well, I did ask for more. And what did they say? My agent got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking? Every time I walk into my own house, my own voice saying, "Hello, sir. Do you want to sit down?" God, that's got to be fucking weird. It's fucking awful. I thought the studio owned that character. They did, and then Robco bought the studio. The future, my friend, is products. You're a product, I'm a product. The end of the world is a product. Yeah. And for those of us who can successfully embrace that, I'd say the future is golden. To the future. To the 
future. That was a good little one cut and just just tidbits of information. <laughs> God damn it, man. That's hilarious. We're seeing like the origins of these like icons of the Fallout universe. Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says so. The government. Oh, yo, look at this one. Oh, wait, so are we... Wait. We fell into Vault 4. Your friend is going to have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. You're not fine. Titus, this is a vault, Doctor. Oh, and we found his armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Oh, that's great. Hmm. I gotta admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is not good. I was born on the surface. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know. You seem so normal. <laughs> My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community oh. here in Gulf 4. Hmm. We just need you to stay in quarantine a few hours longer to make sure you don't track in any contamination. So that means she's was formerly of the New California Republic, that settlement, right? But she also found stumbled her way down here as part of the intake, or I don't know. You wanna have sex? Uh. <laughs> you mean use my cock? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, that weird thing could happen. What weird thing? For some guys, you know, when they make it move, it gets all big and hard like a big pimple, and then it pops. And they say it could oh. happen to anybody, but it's still, it's, it's gross. You know, that's uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. <laughs> Every time. That's what's supposed to happen, buddy. That's hilarious. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm a knight. No, you're not. We're not supposed to. Okie dokie. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> Fuck, what's that mean? Oh, I remember that too from the from the commercial, him walking right past that place. Well, they let him out. Oh, what's the fucking game here, man? I think these people are trying to trap us here. No, they're not. And some of these people are from the surface, like you. <laughs> this is a cult. <laughs> it's not a cult. Everyone smiles. You're one to Titus, talk, dude. This is a safe place where people take care of each other. But it why? is a little culty. Because in the vaults, we recognize that we all need each other. Just like I needed you on the surface. No. Now, we're stuck here until you're able to travel. So, give this place a shot. She's chosen her romance NPC. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Oh, good God, who is it? Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy. And oh, Chris. hey guys. Hello. Say hi. Just some housekeeping, a few things to be aware of. Stay out of level 12. Obviously, we'd prefer you not go there. Oh, and we only have one foosball table. So if you want to play, <laughs> you got to sign up. If there's no pencil on the sign up sheet, please let me know. I do. This is the best uh, Cyclops thing going on I've I've seen. That should cover it. <laughs> Any questions or concerns beyond foosball or pencils or bathrooms? Why do you have one eye? Once again, welcome to Vault 4. We're glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh no. What the fuck? Genetics experiments here. Hey guys, editing Omni here. So during the rewatch, as I'm combing through the footage for this, I didn't make the connection initially quite clearly in the video, but the Hawthorns was the family that we saw during the ad read that Cooper was talking to. They're the scientists that were down there underneath Hawthorne Research Laboratories. There's our connection there. They said their mission particularly was to study the long-term effects of radiation on human genes. And well, 
<laughs> what do we got going on here? But obviously, as we learn later in the episode, it goes well beyond that. I'm talking about his eye. Lots of people have one eye. Yeah, I mean, his was in the middle. It's a little to the left. Oh my God, Titus, for fuck's sake. Whoa. Sorry. What in the world? Have a nice day. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> oh, come on. You, you've seen these around. It's not on you, I haven't. Well, tech exists with or without me. Doesn't do anyone any good to complain from the sidelines. All I'm saying is we have this one life. Do you really want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes? I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. One that's not fucked up. I think there, if I remember right, there's like a small handful of vaults that are used for controls where they are not doing anything fucked up. But there's only like, there's really not a lot of those. So maybe that's reserved for special people when it came to Vault Tech to get their families in. Maybe he fucks, uh, fucks them over and gets them disqualified from any, any vault. Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. I guess you had one of your meetings, huh? Vault Tech's the fucking devil, man. My wife works here. So the US government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. vault -Tec is a private corporation that has the fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how does it make money? By selling vaults. But they can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. So vault -Tec has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Yeah. <sighs> oh, there's lots of ways. No, I never I really thought about that. Morning. You were the sheriff and I was some generic Indian. Come on, man. Don't say that. Tall hand mud lake could talk to horses. You played him with grace <laughs> and with dignity. It was a great role for you. Morton played a rancher who owned half of Missouri. And what happens when the cattle ranchers have more power than the sheriff? But the whole town burns down. Vault Tech is a trillion dollar company that owns half of everything. And after 10 years of war, the U.S. government is broker than a joke. The cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Oh, come on. Unless the people do He's something. right. I guess everything's a conspiracy, right? You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. I'm sure she knows what's coming then at that point. She's she's like, this is a guarantee. And I need everything to go well and go right. That's why she used her connections to get them inside. And she's trying her best to host all this stuff, do the right stuff to get the best slots. Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Ah, does he like it? What? It's going to be hard on her, that's all. What is? She's already- You know, no dogs in the vaults. All the little telltale signs. No dogs in the vaults, says who? That's just the, um, that's the policy. Who decided that there were no dogs in the bowl? Well, I think that is a relatively trivial concern. I'm not sure that it is, to be quite honest. Because no dogs allowed, that is a new rule. Somebody decided that and didn't share it with fucking anyone. I mean, what else do you have in store for us? Are the, are the blue jumpsuits? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. Every day I go into work and I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event that will wipe out 90% of life on Earth. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vaults. And no, none of it is ideal. But if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. God damn, hard man. To make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults. You don't get it. That is the best we can possibly hope for. I was just having this conversation with somebody earlier. God damn it. I'm from a vault. So you are. Goosey McLean. Oh, no, no. It's, it's Lucy. Um, yeah, nope. that that's not it's how that works. <laughs> but hey, that's something. You don't meet a natural born vault dweller every day. We're a dying breed. Oh, you're you're from here? Five generations. And proud of it. Oh, well, I just thought because 
Because so many people here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. These people, am I right? <laughs> and grabbed a moldy one. What do you mean by that? Well, you won't Ew. find anyone more open-minded than me, but... They come in here with their smelly food and their weird ideas. You're from a vault, you get it? I, I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. If you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. And some of these people lost everything. And that was a tragedy. But it's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. I mean, one funny joke I told on maybe 10 occasions. What was the joke? I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> Pretty good, right? <sighs> That's so bad. Any other questions? What's on level 12 and why can't we go there? We don't talk about that. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I, I... You should go now. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. Nope. You're gonna need a core, buddy. Still don't have one. Where do you guys get your power from? Oh, no. He's gonna... Wow, man. Hey, I know it's a vault, but this is still so scummy. I see you found our fusion core. How are we adjusting to life down here? Does it matter? I'm leaving soon. Aren't I? No. Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. When you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? <sighs> Is that a box of sugar bombs? Give me the simple life. <laughs> and the ones you love inside. Some like the heart. Oh, don't. Nope. But yes, indeed. Give me the simple life. <laughs> Give me the simple life. I've never had caviar, by the way. I'm surprised they didn't give her like a new suit. Remembering Shady Sands. A lot about this, and maybe it's just the whole culty nature of everything anyway. Interesting. Somebody took them out. They were getting too strong. But what's on, what was it, section 12, sector 12 or whatever? I don't know. But anyway, like what I was going to say, like so much of this and it could just be the vault cultism of it all. It feels like such a performance. What's going on? It's a surface dweller tradition. I can get a little rambunctious on my taste. Yeah, because she saw that... Yeah, somebody did drop a bomb after the fact, after the bombs. I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Mm. Mm. Ew. Son bitch right oh my here. god. Used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. I don't know what keeps you going. Maybe you just like the feeling of that good old California sunshine. I was right. He did lose his trigger finger. You're still looking for her. Oh. Oh, wait. Trying to find the vault that his ex-wife got into. I mean, she'd be dead by now, regardless, unless she was frozen. A whole lot of chatter about some woman. Name of Moldavia. They call her the Flame Mother. Oh, that's who he. Okay, never mind. You know why these boys brought you in? 
because I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership? Yep. <laughs> no, I've always liked you. Well, I've always liked you. Well, ain't that sweet. But that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. Now, you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> If you need any more evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Wait, hold on. Was That was her finger, wasn't it? My daddy lives in Philly. Well, not no more he don't, unless he's a coward. Don't take the bait, son. Well, I ain't fishing. My daddy ain't no coward. Well, then I guess the only question is, are you? Sheriff Rex, take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Take them out back and feed them to the hogs. Oh, right in the dick. I got one question for you, old buddy. Why do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. Why? Now, that's not how I remember her at all. Yeah. Well, how do you remember her? Dude. Don't tell me Moldaver's his wife or his daughter for that matter. Oh, it's his daughter. He's going to one of them meetings. And you can still hear them doing that over top of this scene as well. Is, oh, tell, it's an orgy, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll see if I stick. What is going on? Blame mother, we remember. Bring back the past. Oh, didn't they call him Moldaver? The flame mother? What in the world? Oh, flame mother, you will be our salvation. Mr. Howard? Oh, no, never mind. Maybe Moldaver froze herself. I don't know. I mean, either way, it'd be... There's got to be some kind of interaction. Like, even if it was, like I said, if, like I threw out the daughter or the wife or something like that, there would have had to have been something like that. What the fuck? Titus! We need a talk. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. He's you torn into all of it. No. You were right. Check this out. These are called oysters. You want one? They make you feel so good. Do you want to make my cock explode now? <laughs> Sorry? Intercourse? No, we need to leave. Right now, these people are insane. Yeah, they're like you. A little weird, but nice. Plus my arm. You know, I really, I ought to give it a little more time. I get why you'd want to stay. I know this must all seem really nice compared to the shoot show that's up there. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go back on our deal and, and just be somewhere that is good and safe. But this isn't it. They gave me a robe. And slippers. These people are hiding something from us. I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? I'm not leaving without you. You'd think if they weren't supposed to talk about it or go to it, it'd have some kind of security block on it or something. So that was all the people that they've taken in, assuming that story was correct, and they're all from Shady Sands, and they're like a, a cult that worship the Flame Mother, wishing to bring things back. That's a gulper. That's... Yeah, what the fuck? Oh no, what's down here? Uh, faces. Body parts. What the fuck? Oh, what if that's 
not even Moldaver's actual face. As we know, they can transplant fingers and all kinds of other shit. That guy's got a nose on his forehead. A birthing chamber? Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh my, oh God, oh God. She just gave birth to a bunch of little piranha fish things. And they're eating her. Then they're going to eat me. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this just immediately popped in my head when I said that. Oh yeah, look right there. We got somebody on ice. Yeah, all right, so we have some people being preserved. And they're like using human women to breed monsters? Well, here's Nose Boy. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's go. God damn. You're crazy. Oh, wow. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, no. God damn it. Are you kidding me? That flew by. Oh, my Lord. So, are it. Okay, so am I to believe their overseer that some of them are still original vault born people? The rest are, in fact, people they brought in because that is their directive and i'm not sure exactly what that would entail but they are doing some fucked up shit man maybe i misread that entire shady sands thing but like the revelation of what happened there the survivors here kind of have kind of got a bit of a footing in here i don't know i'm not exactly sure you know we have these people who have these additions these mutations and we found that on the 12th floor, they're using women to hybridize and give birth to whatever. I don't know. Because we saw that one chamber had one of those gulper things. So is that the result or the product of this vault? Because we were talking about, or at least I brought it up, I was like, why does this thing even have human fingers in its mouth? Could it be because it is part human and it was just released onto the surface after a time i don't know them like worshiping the fire the flame mother which we've learned is moldaver that was one of the names she goes by she's also somebody that cooper knows from when he was a normal person before the bombs she could have been in one of these chambers maybe she gave birth to someone or something but she got out she's working with this guy from the Enclave, you know, from what we saw, they're working on like eugenics and genetics experiments there. And he implanted whatever intel he has in his head that'll change the world, was trying to deliver it to her. Why? God damn it, man. There's so many possibilities right now. Obviously with these body part things, there was like a literal full face in one of these jars and cooper said the thing he's like i don't remember her looking this way what does that mean exactly just that she aged 
that he remembers her differently, quite obviously, but it seemed like that was the same actress, like other than adding some age to her. So I don't know exactly what he meant by that. Could also be the fact that maybe she stole their face. We have a face off moment because we see their people are grafting body parts left and right. You know, one guy's got a singular eye, part of, probably part of their genetics experiments here. Guy's got a nose on his forehead as well as center of his face. What's that about? Glowing eyes, you know, tendrils coming off of a face. We've got like people with like these additional features and those seem to be the vault dwellers, but they still have a bunch of women down here pregnant and uh, frozen. I'm so confused <laughs> about what all of this means and how it fits into the bigger picture. But I love the unraveling of what vault Tech has going on and the implications that they may have had something to do with the bombs being dropped in the first place. Cause like his friend who invited him to this little thing, this little gathering mention is like, if the, the peace talks go through, they lose, like there's no gain. They're putting all this investment into vault tech, the Robotech, the, all the things they're integrating in to make these vault things work. That parallel of like the rancher, the sheriff and all that kind of stuff, like the, the usurping of power when the third party, the private sector has a larger sense of power than the government itself, who's actually pulling the strings. You know, with all the money that they're investing in these vaults, it would all be a loss and for naught if it didn't go in their favor. They'd be selling them for nothing or nobody would be buying them if there was no threat of war. Right now, before the talks go through and stuff like that, people are still scared and they might still invest and purchase a vault. But if they go through, that tells people that, oh, it's gonna be safe. I won't need to buy that. So could they have sabotaged or even instigated the attacks to begin with themselves to make sure that it would become a necessity. That's some crazy shit. And obviously his wife knows some shit that she's not sharing. She's like, we need to get into one of the good ones. We gotta, we gotta do stuff. I'm hosting all this stuff. I, I hooked you up with them so you could do their advertisements. I'm trying to make this a vault tech family so we can get one of the good slots. And I'm presuming that means getting her in one of the management vaults, like she said, which she said monitors the other vaults. In any experiment, you need a control to like, compare your results against in which there are no fucked up shit happening. So she was probably trying to get them into one of those vaults because I'm sure those spots, because it's like these places hold up to like 200 and some people or whatever. So trying to grab one of those spots is ideal as fuck. So she's trying to do everything to reserve a spot for their family because again, she's very confident these things are going to happen. I don't know. I don't know if she knows or she's just afraid because she's afraid and she wants to be certain they have a slot or if she knows what vault is is doing, that there's a guarantee that it's coming. I don't know. Either way, she's just trying to be safe at the end of the day. But she knows that the other vaults are not so safe or what they are being sold to be. And we are seeing more and more of that. I don't know exactly what the experiment going on here is. And we only have a couple of clues and hints towards what was going on in 31, 32, and 33. But... I who it is some dystopian creepy ass shit man and <laughs> as, as much as she was talking it up now Titus has gone full local he's like yeah taking in with all the amnities and he's just enjoying himself having a hot shower enjoying caviar eating all the goods that they left him I don't feel as bad about him ripping out their power core now Fuck it, go for it. I don't know what cra crazy shit's going on here. We have this weird cult who's rubbing the ashes of their fallen on their bodies, talking about bringing themselves back through fire and all this stuff. We, we, ugh. so what does that mean Moldaver's trying to do? I don't know, man. We got two episodes left. We got the penultimate, the finale. I need some answers, man. Holy shit. I love a good mystery, and this show is doing a really good job at just bread us, dragging and trailing us along. As much as it is frustrating, it's the good kind of frustrating. Because you know it's working when you hit the end credits and you're frustrated that the episode just ended. That's definitely where I'm at right now, and I need, I need to know what's going on. But again, this is another situation where everything's looking good man like again the production value on the show is phenomenal the storytelling is really solid the the writing is great it still boggles my mind that they made this connection with all these different players here and we still don't know how 
her father knows of Moldaver. That's still a something that's lingering in the back of my mind right now as well. What does her mother have to do with any of this? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. But guys, that's all I got for right now. I'm going to pass it off to you. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're coming to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrod, Ryan, Karen, your course, Scott Melita, Robert Unguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Entrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, Amy Becca, and Brendan Boyd. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.